Hey, what's going on guys? It's Luckland here, and welcome back to the fourth update of the Arena Battles mod. Now, we haven't really came up with a name for the mod yet, so if you guys have suggestions, just throw them in the comments. But let me show you, a lot of things are still changing. As you can hear, there's some active pigs up there, so the randomizer, I redid the randomizer, it's a lot different now. But it still uses the pigs. What we're going to do is we're going to actually create a custom mob that is uh, like a pig, but has no sound so you won't be annoyed by the pig sounds during the fights but I'll show you the randomizer basically it's the pigs there 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 and there and then there's a pig shoot up there pig shoot up there and a pig shoot up there and, and so on over here right there so what's gonna happen is obviously the pig's gonna jump off of here once the piston gets activated it'll push the pig up he'll walk over here and it's on a T flip flop so he'll push up walk over here and if he presses on this pressure plate here now this is a rare room and why this is a rare room is because of this it has meat so right now steak heals the uh, the playing basically the players stake will heal the players and they will grab it during combat they will grab everything during combat so this is a rare room so as he walks around he can hit this and it will dispense the meat he could hit that and it will dispense the meat if he hits this it'll open the pig chute and bring out another pig and that greaters the chances of the meat being dispensed during the fight over here same thing if you look we've got that pressure plate back there that one there and that's the ones that open up the pig chute and then we have this pressure plate here just one so if a pig hits this it's gonna dispense diamonds and what diamonds do now is diamonds make them invulnerable you'll see what that does I'm gonna show you in just a minute so over here same thing we've got iron ingots that gives them chain mail so we have over here we have basically the dispenser buttons there and there when they're hit it'll dispense the iron bar and then back in the back, same thing with the pig shoot. Got two of them back there as it drops down. More pigs, more chances of getting the iron bars dispensed. And then over here, craziness. Got three of them. And this is a little more greater. So when the pigs come down, they'll be able to activate this a lot more. This has got basically a mix between swords and bows. Swords and bows. And up, oh, gooey. Swords and bows, just like that. So this is the new randomizer and how it works. And this will be hooked up to the actual GUI control panel to start the fights. But right now it's not. I have it hooked up just up here. So these guys, these are the ones that press it right here. Okay, so if we come down here, I'm going to give you some demonstrations of what happens. So let's say I'm going to spawn myself. Let's say CWB and spawn myself right there okay so first thing I'm gonna give myself is iron bar and he can pick it up from wherever at this point they can pick it up pretty decent amount so they'll pick it up during combat and I'll show you that in just a minute so then I can throw myself a diamond and what diamond does now if you notice first of all if I throw the diamond you see the yellow bar above his head that is now an armor bar so look if I hit him like so armor bar goes down first like that then it goes in the health bar now, if we go up, like that, now he's mad at me. So let's throw him a little bit of meat. Here, chew on this, Lachlan. So we throw him this, and it heals him back. So we could hit him again. Watch. Okay. Just like this. Get him down more, so you can see. And if we throw the iron bar on him, like this, he gets, basically gets chain mail. And then if I use the sword again, it doesn't affect the health, it affects the armor first. So the armor is the first thing to be affected. So now if I throw a diamond at him, like so, he becomes invulnerable with the creeper thing. See, nothing's being taken off. So for four seconds, he becomes completely invulnerable to damage. So now, let me kill him off and show you what it looks like in a fight. Like so, and let's do this. So we're going to say, Lucklin. Actually, let's put up the walls. Let's do all up. Okay, so all are up, and we're just going to do, I think, green and orange. Okay, so let's do Lucklin MCWB against Wolf 21. 
just like so. Spawn. Okay, so now me and Wolver are about to go at it, fist to fist. So what we're going to do is this. All I'm going to do is activate green and orange, like so. And the lucky person, whoever gets them, gets them. So they pick it up. I got it. See if Wolf gets it. Wolf's got it now. It's a moment of vulnerability. Look at that. Throw it to him. So they can pick it up during the fight and see they can only use one diamond while the invulnerability is active. So now, who gets the sword? Wolf got the sword. You better watch out, luck one. Beat down time. Get that. Nice. Heal him up. Come on, grab it. Grab it before Wolf does. Heal up Wolf. Alright, see, luckily it's still getting beat down by that sword, but as you can see, let's get him some vulnerability. Come on, there we go. No damage. So there you go, guys. That is some of the bigger changes to the arena mod. So, yeah, it's, it's coming along great. We have some uh, pretty major changes that are going to happen today with it that I think you guys are really going to love. It's basically becoming a game in a game. So, yeah. So if you guys like this, you know what to do. Just support it, like it, do whatever. And uh, if you want to see yourself in this mod, please put your Minecraft name in any video that has to do with the arena mod. So then when I go back and we start the series, I can start picking names. So that's it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Remember, guys, also, at the top right-hand corner is going to be the annotation for X2Robbie2X's channel. Please go over there and check out his channel. He has modding tutorials and all kinds of cool stuff over there. Robbie is doing amazing on this mod. So go help him, support him. Talk to you guys later. Bye.